Welcome back everyone. In my last video, we established that this BMW i3s battery lost 15% of its original capacity after 56,000 miles and five years of ownership. So let's do the real world range test and let's see how far this car can go on a single charge without range extender, of course. I charged it overnight using my Ohma charger to 100%. This is a smart charger with very unique feature. If you have a special night tariff from your electricity supplier, this charger will automatically calculate what is the best and cheaper time to charge your car. All you have to do is plug it in and make a schedule in your Ohma app what time you want your car to be ready and how much you want your battery to be charged. You can also set to precondition your car before you leave. But this can also be set inside the car and on your BMW app on your phone or like in my case Apple Watch. But let's disconnect the car, pack it up and hit the road. Like you can see, the car is at 100%. I will reset the trip computer by pressing the button on the left hand side of the instrument cluster and we are ready to go. Actually, I wanted to do this range test few days ago because I had empty battery and I drove to my local shell charging station that are only a few months old to charge the car and record charging speed for you guys. But three charges were turned off and one had red light and error message on the display. It's not the first time I have issues with the Shell charging stations. Or they are charging 24 plus kilowatts only and they should be capable of up to 178 apparently. Or they just simply don't work. I let you decide if Shell trying to discourage people from buying electric cars and they making the chargers so they pain in the ass to use or they just shit by design. And one of the biggest oil companies have no interest at all of slowing down EV adoption. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now we are on 70 miles per hour road and I will do my best to stay at 70 miles per hour. However, this can be a tricky in UK roads. And maybe in the future, if you guys want, I can do another range test at 60 miles per hour to see what the difference is. If you would like to see this, please drop the comment below. I was even thinking to travel from UK to Poland in this car, but I will definitely use the range extender for such a long journey. And I am more than happy to make the video out of this, so please let me know in the comments if it is something you would like to see. And I will test if that little BMW can handle 1000 mile trips each way then back. Ok, 
Okay, battery is now as low as it will go due to range extender is kicking automatically when it gets to about 5 to 6 miles of range left. This used to be 5%, but now it seems like it is 7 to 8% probably due to 15% battery degradation. We managed to cover 92 motorway miles and I reckon this is plenty enough to use for everyday driving. The Rex is just a backup for me when we go for a camping fair day away but even then I am trying my best not to use it a lot. I'm not going to lie it is useful when you arrive to charging station and they are busy or broken. If you own Tesla you don't need to worry about this. As we all know by now Tesla charging station is incredibly reliable and 10 to 20 charges in one location instead of 3 to 4 charges. But let's go to one of the shell charges and check if any of them working, we might be lucky and test the charging speeds and test how long will it take to charge to 100%. Okay, we are charging station and like I said, shells are not the best. One got the error message, two are switched off and only one working. Nevertheless, it's improvement. Last week, none of them was working. Well done, Shell. Due to only one charger was working, I had to wait 30 minutes for it to be free. But car is plugged in now and is charging. i3 should be able to get up to 50 kilowatts. And you can see it's starting to receive around 43 kilowatts at the beginning, but later on grown up to 49 kilowatts at 80% charge, which took only 29 minutes. But last 20% took further 35 minutes. So don't be an asshole like me and don't charge to 100% because I made a lot of people unhappy that day as there was only one charger working but for the name of science I had to sacrifice. What did we learn today? 1. That i3s with 15% battery degradation can achieve around 100 miles. And 2nd, whenever possible avoid shell charges, they shit. Okay, that will be all for today's video and if you enjoyed watching or found this video to be helpful in any way, please consider subscribing. This will help to motivate me to create more videos for you guys. If you have any requests, I am open for anything. I have soon service coming up in my BMW, but I could do it myself and record video of step by step how to service BMW i3s with range extender. Once again, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.